Welcome to Classroom Setup Day 1 in 2021. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be starting off this vlog. As you guys can probably already tell, this is a classroom setup series that I am starting for the 2021 school year. If you guys have not already watched my 2020 classroom setup series, I will have that linked right here for you guys to watch. And that is me getting into the classroom that I am now. And it was a complete blank state of a canvas last year and I showed the process of me filling it with everything that it has in it now and last year was my first year of teaching if you are new here I taught second grade and I will be teaching second grade again this year as a second year teacher so I'm so excited to be back in the same school and in the same classroom so although I won't be starting from a fresh blank canvas like I did last year I still have a lot of stuff that I want to do in the classroom I have some stuff that I am bringing to the the classroom today. Today's video I won't be doing a whole lot. I basically just want to get back into my classroom because I haven't been in the classroom since June 3rd on my last day of school. So I want to get back into my classroom and just like map out everything that I want to get done before the school year starts. Our school year doesn't start until August 24th and our teacher contract days start on August 18th. So I still have about a month left of summer break but I've just been anxious to get back into my classroom, so I thought, why not? I had all this stuff sitting upstairs in our second bedroom, so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go back up to the classroom and see it because I honestly really miss it, and I'm going to unpack all the stuff that I have, and if you guys want to see a haul of everything that I've collected this summer so far from my classroom, I will leave that link right here as well for you guys, um, but I'll still show you a little bit of what I got today in case you are new to my channel. By the way, if you're new here, welcome. Thanks so much for being here don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below so that you don't miss any future videos and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you are enjoying this video and yeah just welcome to my channel I film a whole lot of education and school content but also a lot of lifestyle as well so thanks for being here I hope you stick around and that's enough of me babbling I am about to head to my classroom so let's get going all right guys, I am back in my classroom as you see and uh, the only bummer is that they are currently still in summer school right now. So a lot of this stuff that you see in like the cubbies and around the room is actually a fifth grade class that's been in my classroom all summer and they're still here. This is their last week and I actually had no idea that they were still in session. I thought that summer school was over like a week ago. So when I came in, I actually came up here early this morning and saw that there were still kids here so I left and so I came back and I'm like okay well I guess there's not really much I can do because now that I'm looking around she the teacher that's here currently still has a lot of her stuff out and I don't want to mess with anything because they're still here until the end of the week and it's only Monday so basically I'm just going to bring in everything that I had sitting in my apartment and put some of it away and kind of like map out what I want to do in the classroom whenever I do come back and I'll just kind of like bring you guys along. So this will just be like a quick part one to my classroom setup series and then in a few weeks from now I'll be coming back and actually be able to like get in here and move everything back to its place. For those of you who are new here I'll give you a quick tour of my room. This is the front door. I still am going to keep the same door decor up because it lasted pretty well last year. I have this bulletin board right here that I need to figure out what I want to do with it. Then coming on this side of the wall we have our cubbies and I kept this student center banner up because I think I'm probably going to keep that the same. Then right now they have the big tables in here because fifth grade is currently in like I said so eventually these will be swapped out for the smaller tables for my second graders. And yeah. I have a lot of stuff boxed up and then she said that she moved all of my stuff over here in this corner and as you see she has like her fifth grade books and stuff out so this is what I mean by like I don't want to move anything or kind of like um, touch anything that's hers but yeah she literally shoved every single thing that's mine back in this corner which is fine but she has her whole like fifth grade schedule up and everything on there still. And yeah, that's kind of the state of the room. She's using my bench back here for like some of her supplies. And then all of my stuff, the rest of my stuff is over here in the corner. So 
I kind of like that she moved this kidney table over here though because originally I had it in the middle so I definitely do think I'm going to kind of switch up some things around the room like that. This is all the stuff that I brought in today. A lot of it is stuff that I got from the Target Dollar Spot which I do have a haul on my channel like I said if you guys want to see. Um, so just like some supplies for my kiddos for this year. I want to use these as like their individual supply bags this year. A couple little posters that I need to figure out where I want them to go. I have this cute little pocket chart and calendar that I'm going to hang up over there on the information center. Then I do have a collection of a few different um, bolts and borders that I'm going to keep a hold of. Here's the calendar that I want to put up over there. So cute. I have a couple of these little inflatable seats that I'll wait to blow up and put those probably in my library. I also have this classroom jobs little pocket chart, which I thought was so cute and it kind of goes with the rest of these. So I'll probably have this on the information center as well. And I have two rugs. So I have this one. It's just a little rug. It's just like a three by two rug. I also have this rug right here that I recently bought from Well Woven and it's just this cute neutral rug. Obviously you will see it once it's all out and I'm planning on putting this over in my classroom library. And I might just have to stack it on top of the neutral rug that I had over here already because this one's a bit smaller. But I think I'm just going to stack this one on top of that one. I also got a new pencil sharpener, which I'm so excited about. But for now, I'm honestly just going to keep this in the box and hide it so no students can find it and break it. I'm also just going to put this rug in here as well. And I still have this pink one that I'm going to keep in here too. Also just going to keep these seats right in here. Also, a few of you sent me some things off of my Amazon wish list that I wanted to give a shout out to. So thank you so much, um, Charlotte Clifton, for sending me some goodies. And thank you also to Erin Tatum. And she has an Instagram as well. I love her Instagram. It's taught by Tatum. Thank you as well to Jen. I received these cute little, these are like the little inflatable lanterns. And I'm probably just going to either hang them up in my room or put them on some type of bulletin board or out in the hallway. I got sent this adorable sign that says welcome. So I'm going to put this um, probably on the front of our door or on the window over there. I think this is just so freaking cute. Then I also got sent this three piece little poster, which I think is just so freaking cute as well. And I think it just peels and sticks um, or I could always get some frames for it. And I don't know where I'm gonna put this yet. So I still gotta think about it. Like if I wanna put it on a wall somewhere or put it out maybe on the door. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Should I try to put it like maybe on the outside of the door or on the window or maybe like out on the wall outside of the room? let me know. I also received a gift from Ashley. Thank you so much. She sent me this cute poster off of Amazon. I love it. I love the inclusion. All welcome, all sizes, colors, cultures, genders. I love all that. So yeah, I need to also frame this and figure out a place to put it. Let me know what you guys think because those two posters are similar. Um, but I could either put them on my door, window, I could put it like when they first walk in or out in the hallway. Let me know where you guys would put these posters. This Bolton border was sent by Tatum from Top by Tatum, so thank you so much for this. I am definitely going to be, I think, making my room just a little bit more neutral, take away a little bit of the color just because it can be a little bit overwhelming, and I just honestly want to switch things up. So I think I'm going to be just having um, some white wood around the borders of a lot of my Bolton boards, and yeah, I just want to switch things up around here. So this this is a really good border to have. Other than that, I just have a bunch of dollar spot goodies, some workbooks that I got, some little certificates, some name tags, some name plates. Um, then I have a bunch of these cards. If you watch my haul, you see that I've got a bunch of these cute little cards, bookmarks, and these for the board. So I'm honestly just gonna keep all these in the bag for now and I can kind of dig through them once I get in. So although I don't have to do a ton of redecorating, I do really want to move around things in my classroom because I just think that's so much fun. I am like a firm believer in feng shui and I really think just like how this space is organized and set up can really affect the energy of the room. And I think like after having a whole year in this exact same setup, there's some stale energy. So I just wanna like move things around. I wanna move some tables 
desks. I want to move the carpet around even maybe. I honestly just want to like have a completely new setup because I think that's fun and I love that about having my own classroom is that I kind of get to set it up exactly how I want and I can always change it if I change my mind. And so yeah, um, if you guys saw my room last year, I have my big carpet up in like the front of the room right by the smart board and the whiteboard and then in front of all that i usually have like five or six circle like smaller tables for my littles and then over in this corner last year i had my classroom library as you see like i have my big tapestry which i was thinking about moving just for fun because like why not so I don't know, I had my kidney table in the center of the back of the room, but I kind of like that she has it over there in the corner of the room where my classroom library used to be. And then maybe I could have my classroom library in this corner like she has. So I don't know, that's all fun kind of to picture like how it could be. And I was even possibly thinking, let me know what you guys think about this. Just for the sake of switching things up, I think it would be fun to move my entire carpet to the back of the room, like possibly against the back wall or in the corner or in that corner. I mean, I won't want it too close to the cubbies just because the kids will be getting up there, but I thought it might be fun just to move it to the other side of the room or possibly move it closer to this wall if I didn't have the library there. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think because usually this is how it's been set up. I have my rocking chair usually right here and then all the kids sit right there. But I think it'd be really fun just to switch things up just for fun. So let me know if it were up to you, where would you put this rug? I'm also trying to decide if I want to change up my word wall just because I really do like how it looks, but I don't think it was super accessible to the kids. Um, so I have an idea of like a huge <laughs> word wall that I kind of wanted to do. I'll put a picture right here. I got the idea from the Chai Town teacher um, over on Instagram. I love her so much and I think she just has really good ideas. So I was thinking about changing that up and I'll probably keep our objective board over here um, just because I always want to have an objective board and it works being right there. I'll definitely keep the hand washing station up because that will always be relevant. <laughs> and um, these are all of my library books. So once I can finally get in here and actually like take everything down, I will get in there and start setting up my library as well. I think I'm still going to keep this as the information center and I'm just going to have the weather, the calendar, and our class jobs up on this board, which I will eventually show you guys. And I believe I'll still keep this our work center board um, just because I think it's a cute way to display student work and it's right in the middle of the classroom. I really need to update our um, alphabet <laughs> because I am missing the A. Q, W, and I don't even know where those pieces are. So honestly, I'm probably just gonna have to reprint them, which I did find this on TBT. Um, it came in like a big bundle. I believe it was like a cactus decor bundle that I bought a couple of years ago. Um, and this happened to come in it, which I think is so cute. And I get questions on that all the time. So yeah, definitely look on TBT for cute decor bundles. Last year I had our face mask rules over on this board. Um, I think the students will still be required to wear masks and as a teacher, if you're vaccinated, it's optional. Um, but I took down the face mask rules because I didn't really even like how they turned out. So I think I'm just going to change up this board completely. Let me know what you guys typically do for these like skinnier type of bulletin boards just because obviously I can't fit a lot on there, but I wanna put something on there. Do you guys redo your anchor charts for the next school year or do you usually just keep them up? Because I laminated quite a few of them, but some of them are kind of getting a little wrinkly. They just don't look so nice. Even some of my marker is starting to fade on them. I don't know why, if it's like the sun coming in from the window, I don't know what's going on there. Um, but I was planning on just always keeping them up, but now that I'm looking at them, I'm like, honestly, they're kind of hard to read. So I might take them down and then just redo them as the year goes on. I have this um, board just like above my desk, which I really love. So I'll probably just keep this as my board. This is all the fifth grade teacher's stuff right there, but um, I will still keep that. However, I am getting another desk. I forgot to mention that to you guys. I'm not getting like a big chunky teacher desk, but I'm getting a cute kind of like high rise wooden desk. So I need to figure out where I'm going to put that. I was actually thinking about putting it back in the center of the room now that I think about it or in the corner of the room and have the kidney table on the other corner. So I also need to kind of figure out what I'm gonna do with that and that is coming in the mail very soon. So I'll show you guys that desk once I get it.
Okay, don't mind my really bad drawing, but I wanted to kind of like make a little diagram of the room to see if it would work. So I may have to keep the big carpet up in the front just because I don't think that it would be able to go in the back because then I wouldn't have anywhere to put my desk that I'm getting. So I'm thinking about keeping the carpet up here and putting my little desk on top of a little rug back there, maybe in the center of the room, if not off to the corner. I'll just have to see how I like it. And then keeping the kitty table over in the corner. <laughs> Sorry if I'm making you dizzy, but keep that over there. And then possibly doing our classroom library over here. So do like one on that wall, one in the middle, one on the side, having a rug go out right here. Although I don't know if that'll clash with this rug. So I don't know. I could also always do the kidney table over here and keep a classroom <laughs> library over there. So I need lots of opinions, you guys, lots of advice. Let me know what you think you would do. I've also thought about not even having like a designated library, like just one spot, but like spacing out the bookshelves. So putting like one bookshelf underneath this information center, one bookshelf underneath that one, and either like one in the middle or one over there in the corner. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I just think it's really fun just to kind of like rearrange everything but as of right now this is kind of how I picture it in my head once I get my desk and I'm able to set it up then I'll be able to play with that and see where I want it but yeah this is kind of the setup I'm gonna think about going for and I can't really think of anything else that I need to switch up in here yes the infamous contact paper is still stuck on here if you've been following me on here for a while you would know that i messed up by putting contact paper on this cabinet and i don't know what this plastic material is but this stuff does not come off of it yes i have tried everything i have tried goo gone and all that type of like chemical stuff to get it off the only thing i haven't tried is like a hot air blow dryer on it which apparently heat is supposed to get contact paper off but i haven't brought in a blow dryer to try that um the contact paper i also put on the cement walls but that came off fine so i don't know what it is about it coming off of this um kind of like plastic but it just will not come off so i was thinking about putting just like a giant poster over it because no joke guys like i've had custodians come in here i've had like so many people come in and they cannot get it off so until we come up with a better way to get it off i'm thinking about just like hiding it from the new school year this is just our technology drawer so we just have like all of our ipads usually in here and so i'm thinking about just like putting a little poster or something over it to hide it this is usually my little affirmation station so i'm gonna keep this um cute little mirror there for this following year and i believe yeah up there somewhere i have all the affirmation little things little words of affirmation that i'm gonna put back up on there last year i literally did nothing up above it though i couldn't even figure out what to do so i could also put one of those cute posters that i showed you guys like the all are welcome one maybe right there and i put our class jobs up here at one point i don't know i'm constantly putting things on these cabinets and then taking them off because i feel like it looks too crowded so uh, let me know if you guys have any ideas of stuff that i could put on these cabinets i also keep like my teacher toolbox this is all the fifth grade teacher stuff but i keep my teacher toolbox and stuff down here but once i have a desk in the back i might end up moving it back there and now that i think about it i could always have that second desk that i have because it's probably about that height just obviously a lot skinnier i could also just make this like a cubby so i could have the desk sticking out this way and have this like a little cu corner cubby for all of my stuff I never really thought about doing that but I could also do that I could have just like this be like my little corner and then I could have the entire back of the room to do whatever whether I wanted to put bookshelves back there or put a big carpet back there I just noticed that she also has a bunch of my stuff up here just like the kids book boxes and my like crates my milk crates that I have like for student data and stuff and I think those binders are hers. So it'll be really nice in a couple weeks when I come back. All of her stuff will be out of here and I'll know <laughs> what exactly is all mine. And I can just move all my stuff around and kind of like play around with it. I also might rearrange my whiteboard. If you guys saw last year on my whiteboard, I had our schedule right here. And then I had some tape that kind of separated our schedule. Then in the middle, I had um, just some like behavior management stuff. And I just kind of like used that to write on. 
and then over here I had our voice levels with our voice level lights so I'm not sure if I'm going to do it the exact same way a part of me just wants to switch it up just for fun um so I would love some whiteboard ideas what do you guys put on your whiteboard obviously I could put like the date and like schedule and stuff like that but let me know if you guys put anything else on your whiteboard that you find super helpful all right y'all that is pretty much it because I honestly just can't really do much for now but I feel really good just being back here you know like when you have all these thoughts like when you go to bed at night you're like thinking oh I could do this I could do this I could do this so it feels really good just to come in here and kind of like bring in all my stuff put it away so it's not just sitting in my house and I could also just like kind of get my thoughts out on the board of what I wanted to do and I could also just like look around to see what all I could do with this space I'm really excited to just transform the classroom I just want to switch everything up make it kind of feel like a new classroom again because I love that feeling and honestly I just think it's really fun just to update and move things around so yeah this is pretty much it for the setup day one just because I don't have a lot to do and so sorry that this was a really quick video but I hope it gave you a little taste of what's to come and that I have a lot of fun stuff in store for classroom setup series this year so this is just kind of like a little sneak peek at what is to come but I am about to go see Kathy. Kathy is here as well. If you guys didn't know if you're new here Mrs. Kellogg's Bunch over on Instagram Kathy Kellogg on YouTube. She's one of my best friends here in Columbia and we actually teach at the same school so um, she's here too, just bringing stuff, some stuff into her classroom. So I'm actually going to head over to her room and go say hi to her and I'll give you guys a little sneak peek of her room. just left school I went to Kathy's classroom and just like hung out and talked to her for a while and yeah now I'm leaving and I'm about to go home I'm so hungry I feel like being in the classroom all day just like makes me so tired I wasn't even there all day I was there for like a couple hours but um I'm going to head home and make some dinner and yeah that was just so much fun being in my classroom and just getting to see it and I'm just so so excited to get back in there and kind of just like reorganize and get everything ready for the new school year I can't wait to find out what kiddos I have this year and who else in my classroom I think it's just so fun as a teacher every year is so different you get a new set of kids every single year which is just so much fun I loved my class last year like I got really lucky with them they're so sweet so I'm just so excited to see what group of kiddos I had this year and of course follow me down below subscribe if you would like to follow me along on my second year of teaching and see how that goes um, but yeah I am about to go home and eat some dinner like I said I'm so excited to announce that this video is in partnership with HelloFresh this is my dream collaboration you guys because I've been using HelloFresh since college days for over five years now and I love them so so much they are the best subscription food subscription service and yeah they're just amazing so I'm about to go home and make one of our hello fresh meals Kyle and I both love it we get so excited to like to like pick which meal we want to eat that night and so I'm gonna go home and talk it over with him see which meal he wants to make and yeah I'll see you at home and we'll make some dinner together so I got home tonight and these were the three meals that Kyle and I had to choose from. I swear every HelloFresh meal I've ever had is just so dang good. And I really love HelloFresh because it gives you these super easy to follow instructions. And as someone who is not a great cook, this is especially nice for me. Even when I lived alone in college, this really came in handy. I could make myself really nice home cooked meals, but it was still super easy to do. 
Um, so tonight we decided to go with this chicken sausage spaghetti bolognese and guys when I tell you this is one of the best meals I've ever had it was so good so what I love about HelloFresh is that they give you all of the ingredients that you need and they're already portioned out ready to go so super easy super fresh and um, speaking of that I just love how fresh their ingredients are and everything is delivered to you at your doorstep but the food just tastes so good and tastes more fresh than if it were to be sitting in your fridge all week from the grocery store and because it's all delivered to your doorstep you're saving so much time by not having to go to the grocery store and if you know me you know I specifically hate going to the grocery store Kyle knows this and I talk about it all the time I always do grocery pickup because I hate going to the grocery store so a meal service like this where it gets delivered right to my door is so nice and it's so nice not to have to figure out all the ingredients and portion sizes because every dish is so different so it's all delivered to you they are also super sustainable because they have pre-portioned ingredients which means there's less prep for you and less wasted food so I have a super amazing offer as always for you guys. You can go to HelloFresh.com and use my code MadisonCampbell14 to get 14 free meals including free shipping. So I will have all of that information down below. This meal turned out so yummy, like I said, Kyle and I both agreed it was one of the best HelloFresh meals we have ever had, if not one of the best meals we have ever had. It was so good, so tonight we just enjoyed this meal and watched a movie, and it was just a super relaxing night, so thank you again to HelloFresh for partnering with me on this video, and thank you so much for those of you who watched this video and got some classroom setup ideas or inspiration. I cannot wait to make some more videos in a couple weeks, so definitely Keep your eye out for classroom setup day two coming your way. Don't forget to subscribe down below, hit that thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.